Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, all my friends, coders, and loved ones. So nice to see you around these parts. My name is Harry Wolf and around here we do code every week. This week I'm going to be talking about Parcel, in particular Parcel 2. It's a bundler like Webpack and it's one that's been around for a while. Parcel 1 has been around for at least, I want to say, one or two years. Uh, the internet could fact check me on that. And what it professed when it first came out, the big thing with Parcel was that it was a zero config bundler, which means that all you had to do to get a application going was to install Parcel and just start coding. And that sounded cool and everything, but I never really jumped on the bandwagon because I was much of the mind that I needed the expressiveness of Webpack. Uh, Webpack, in case you don't know, you can configure every knob, every dial to do whatever you want it to do, uh, which is awesome because you have complete control over how Webpack behaves. The downside is that it's a pain in the ass. Uh, Webpack is a big pain to configure. They've made big strides to make Webpack better zero config, better with zero config in the sense that it has better defaults built in, but still that's not in its bread and butter. Parcel is. And Parcel the Parcel team is working on Parcel 2, the next version of Parcel, which seems in many ways to be a complete rewrite of Parcel from the ground up. Again, internet, correct me if I'm wrong. And I figured that it was way past due that I actually took a look at Parcel to see what all the hubbub was about. And golly gee willikers, I am a fan. This video, I'm now going to show you why I'm a fan, because getting up and going with a new application with Parcel is... Uh, stupid easy, stupid easy. Um, I actually had a tweet this past week where I was saying that I'm pretty sure that Parcel could largely replace Create React App. Uh, Create React App is like a bootstrap thing to get a React application off the ground. And a lot of the complexity of Create React App is just configuring Webpack to do what it wants. So like in many ways, Create React App is a lot of boilerplate around just at the core Webpack. Uh, except with Parcel, as you're going to see in a few seconds, you don't have to worry about any of that. Are you curious about what I'm talking about? Do you want to see what I'm talking about? Shall I show you what I'm talking about? Well, in for a penny, in for a pound, here's my Parcel. Let's see you around. Just to give you a point of reference, this is the Parcel web page, which kind of tells you what it is. Fast, zero configuration web application bundler. Gives you an example of what's going on here. Um, and what I'm going to be using today is actually Parcel 2, which is still under development, but it seems to be nearing a at least a beta release. So uh, things could change, but I think I'm going to be scratching just the service layer. So I'm pretty sure that what you see today is not going to change in the Parcel 2 final, but uh, stranger things have happened. There's this issue asking people to help test the Parcel 2 pre-release. It's pretty active. The last comment was two days ago. So they are actively working on it, trying to find bugs. And at the top here, they have a link to the uh, V2 README, which kind of gets you up and running on how to use Parcel V2. And that's what I have right here. So uh, to show you the power of Parcel, I'm going to pretty much run through their getting started guide. Um, I'm going to do it from the ground up. I'm going to make a new directory. So uh, Parcel demo. I'm going to go cd into the parcel demo. I'm going to do yarn init. I'm going to say yes to just initialize all the default things. Then I'm going to add uh, the next version of parcel. And that's going to take hopefully not too long because I've already installed parcel. So it shouldn't be too much time to. Uh, I'm not sure how much time I have to kill while waiting for this to actually install. Linking. This is always the slowest part of every video. And we're done. Sweet, 17 seconds, not too bad. Let's open up VS Code and kind of poke around. We have uh, Parcel installed, and the first step uh, in this demo is just to show how Parcel can bundle a file. So I'm gonna copy and paste this file. I'm gonna make a new folder called uh, source, because that's how I like to put my files, new file index.html, and we're gonna copy and paste that content right there. And then what we can do is start up Parcel and have it be pointed to this file. So it's starting a server at localhost 1234, one of my favorite numbers. If I click that open, uh, here we go. We got my application working 
already. I have my HTML and it's serving here. Uh, which, you know, not too shabby if I do say so myself. So now if I were to change this and say, hello, YouTube, it rebuilt it, I refreshed that, and it's right there. No live reloading yet, but you'll see when it comes in in a second. So what's really cool about Parcel is that because it has all these defaults built in, I don't have to do any configuration. I can just kind of build my application. What's saved here? Oh, this is my cache folder. So what I want to first do is add a uh, style sheet. We'll call it styles, sure. So let's make a new folder, a new file, styles.css. Right, is this what I called it? Styles, let's call it styles.css. I'm gonna say uh, h1 has a font, has a color of green. It's doing kind of green today. Uh, and let's refresh the page, green. So I haven't had to worry about, so this is just working as is. If I look at the source, you can see that parcel is actually parsing the styles here. So that's, this is all fine. Like this, you could probably do with like a normal uh, HTTP server, just plain style sheets, which is fine. So now what we want to do is let's add a, let's add some JavaScript to our application. We're going to do uh, script. We're going to do uh, app.js. We're going to, oh, can't find the module. That's fine. Let's make the file itself, make app.js. And for now, all I wanted to do is say, uh, you know, hello again. Let's save that. It uh, looks like I have to restart the server to actually find that new file. Not a big deal. Let's refresh. We got um, hello again being shown here, which is really cool. And then also let's start adding another JavaScript file because, you know, usually with your applications, you have uh, multiple files, multiple files.js. And this one, we're just going to do um, export uh, default uh, Harry. I'm just going to export my name. So now what I can do here is import name from multiple files. So now if I take this name and I just do it like that and refresh, here we go. Hello again, Harry, where it's automatically just building the files. I have not touched the parcel configuration at all. This is all just built in for free. So that's cool. Let's see what it looks like if I add some uh, React. Yeah, let's do yarn add uh, React, React DOM. Have that installed and then while that's doing it oh that didn't take any time at all uh, let's make sure that i can still run things it's building it sweet so now let's do this and pretend that we have uh, a react app so react dom from react dom and then import uh, react from react so we're going to have a function app and it's going to return a div, which is going to return an h1, which says, I am React. And then here we're going to do React DOM dot render app. And we're going to do document dot get element by ID. We're going to make a uh, element ID there. Let's save that. And now we actually have to go into here and make a uh, app div. Refresh that. Target div ID app to get element by ID app get element by ID get element by ID. Oh, I always make the mistake um, because this script's running here, which is before the DOM element exists. It can't find that. So there's two ways I think you can fix this. One is you can actually have the async flag, which says load this uh, script file asynchronously, or the standard way of doing it is to actually just move it to the bottom of the file, and that works as well. And here we have I am React working. So now we have a React app that's just, you know, hunky dory working. Uh, let's go to multiple. Let's actually do um, counter. We're going to do, uh, let's remove that. We're going to say import React from React. Let's do a little like simple button that increments things. So button, we're going to say count. Count Dracula. Ah, 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 ah. Uh, on click. And then we're going to have a um, count count set count equals uh, react use state so the default is zero so we have counts we're going to have this be uh, la, 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 la. set count get the previous value and then say previous value plus one so we save that uh, and then we want to import counter 
from here. So export default, import counter, and we can do this right there. Save that, and we have a full little counter. So that's cool. So again, we're making some real cool things with Parcel. I have a complete React application without any configuration being touched. Uh, which is a little bit hard to do with just a webpack by itself, which is why usually you use Create React App. Um, but Parcel has all these other defaults built in, uh, one of which that gets me really excited is um, TypeScript support built in. So let's actually convert all this to TypeScript. I'm going to do yarn. Uh, I'm going to do, uh, do, do, do. This is where things get wild to me. So I'm going to rename this file to app.tsx. I'm going to rename this file to tsx as well tsx so now we're going to have these things be like that so uh, these are just typescript files now so let's actually rename this to tsx and save that and let's start the server up again connect my module app.js from module source uh, that's true you should be able to though building okay Parcel is definitely, Parcel 2 is definitely buggy because I have to kick it a little bit, but okay, it's still working. So if I actually go here and say that, um, what's the thing, cons name string equals Harry, right? We can do that, put this over here just to show that this is working. I am React, and then I can say, you are name, save that. And also, live reload. I didn't have to live reload the web page at all uh, because JavaScript is injected on the page. So that's all cool. So I can make a whole application. And then where things get really fun is I can actually uh, use the build command to build this application for a static site. Building. Oh, so it's saying target main declares an output. No, I don't want to build a package. I just want to build my own code. So let's remove that. It's not really a node app. It's just a web app. It's building. And it's bundling. Let's expand this a little bit. So this is a really cool output right here. Is, uh gives you how big each dependency is and how long it took to actually process that, which is really nice built in. And then if I actually expand here, I can see this disk folder has all the built files. So if I already used a vanilla HTTP server on the disk folder, just vanilla HTTP and go there, there is my app working as expected. So that is why Parcel is getting me really excited. I could have done all that with Create React App. Create React App already does that, but uh, again, it's just a wrapper around Webpack, which seems like way overkill. This was just built in, all these defaults, uh, there is ways to configure Parcel if you need more control, but I have yet to find that boundary yet, which is awesome. When I do find that boundary, maybe I'll make another video talking about how to do configuration with Parcel. But if you have a side project you're working on that you want to just play around with, use Parcel. That was stupid simple. I didn't have to think about tooling. I could just focus on the application at hand. Didn't have to worry about injecting from Create React App. It was just the code and myself and the bundler just got out of my way, which in my opinion, good tools disappear. You don't have to worry about them. They just disappear. Hopefully that got you a little bit excited about Parcel. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed that little run, speed run through. I always like to see how fast I can type, uh, which is maybe good, who knows? Uh, if you're not already a subscriber, please become a subscriber so you can get more of these videos into your face. Uh, I have a newsletter, please subscribe, newsletter, Patreon, you know, I'm trying to be everywhere and anywhere. Uh, thanks for sticking around and I'll see you again next week, you beautiful people.